In the last video, we introduced asymptotics, looking at relationships between functions based on their growth rate. And you might have come away from that video thinking, you know, this seems pretty complicated. Hopefully, at the end of this video, you'll realize that in actual practice, thinking about growth rates is not so difficult. Here's a sequence a n, which is equal to 15 times n cubed plus 12 times n squared plus 700. We want to find the simplest and lowest order b n such that a n is big O of b n. So notice that I say simplest and lowest order. Here's what I mean by that. If we have a sequence a n, it might be big O of a sequence b n, but it also might be big O of another sequence b n, I don't know, 2, and another sequence b n 3, and a bunch of other sequences. It's not useful to say that there's fewer than a million people in a room, but if I say there's fewer than 30 people in a room, you get a better idea of how many people are in there. So we want to find the simplest and lowest order function such that a n is big O of b n. If you remember the addition principle from the last video, we know that really what we're looking for is the highest order term, and that's going to be 15 n cubed. You may also remember that the whole big O definition is based on a constant multiple, so it really doesn't matter what constant multiple is on the outside of the function. So therefore, our desired bn is just n cubed. In other words, a n is big O of n cubed. Here's another example, this time with a product. Let a n be the sequence of 2 to the n plus 15 times 1 plus log n plus n cubed plus log n minus 8. The multiplication rule says that growth rates are multiplicative, so we want to find the highest order term from each one of the factors. The highest order term of the first factor is 2 to the n. The highest order term of the second factor is n cubed. Don't get uh, distracted by the fact that there's a 1 in front. It's the highest order term, not the first term. And the highest order term of the third factor is log n. So a n is big O of these three functions multiplied together. 2 to the n times n cubed times log n. One last example. This time we've got a list of functions we're going to put in order from smallest to largest big O class. If two functions have the same big O class, we're going to give them the same number. So from this list, the lowest order function is the constant 408,000. I want to point out it doesn't matter how big 408,000 is. The point is that 408,000 doesn't grow, and we're talking about growth. Next up is the logarithm, 5 log n, followed by a linear function, but I'm not seeing any linear functions here. I am, however, seeing a log linear function, 2n times log n. Next will be the quadratic functions. Notice that we have two quadratic functions, 2n squared minus 3n and 1 plus 5n squared, and they both grow the same way, so they're both going to receive a 4. 2 to the n is the fifth fastest growing function, followed by n factorial. 